My name is Father Jean-Noël Marie and I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of Perth. I was born in Mauritius and I was very privileged in being born in a very devout Catholic family. From an early age I was involved in my parish. I was a, a reader, a lector when I was 12 or 13. And from there I was, I felt this attraction to the priesthood. I was very fortunate in having a very good parish priest and he was an Irish parish priest. And uh, it's something I can't explain. But uh, when I turned uh, 18, I made this decision that I, this is what I would like to do with the rest of my life. And I um, told my father, I told my parents, this is what I felt God is calling me to be, to do for his church, to become a priest. But I must say my parents were not very enthusiastic about the idea because they had this dream of me uh, studying, doing, going to university, have a career, earn a lot of money and then hopefully come back and help them out of the poverty that we were in. And because I was groomed to obey, I thought this is, this is true actually, this is my duty as the elder son to do something about the state of affairs I found my family in. And I did. I went overseas, I studied, graduated, and migrated to Australia in the 1980s and started working as a public servant. And I thought I was going to be there for only a few months and I ended up being in that particular role, that particular position, for nearly 18, 19 years. But every single day of all those years that passed by, I thought of the priesthood. That call was still there and I knew I had to do something about this. And even the people I used to work with would ask me that question, Jean-Noël, I don't think you were made to be here. Have you ever thought of the priesthood? But then I thought it was too late. I think this is something I should just put behind me and focus on where I'm heading and, and that's it. But uh, with God it's, it was, it's never too late and he never gave up on me. And by then I was in my early 40s. So I went to the Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Perth and after a couple of years of discernment he graciously accepted me as a candidate and that was the best decision I ever made and I felt liberated, it was a liberating feeling, I felt I was where I should be. And eventually, after this period of formation at St. Charles Seminary, Archbishop Hickey decided to ordain me to the priesthood for the Archdiocese of Perth and the rest is history.